channel welcome to another video if you're new here welcome my name is Christy in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you another what I eat in a day video just take you along and share with you the things that I'm eating I'm also going to share with you a thrive market haul that I got I just started using thrive so I wanted to share some things with you on that so if you notice I haven't had as many videos up as normal life has just been crazy it's just been kind of hectic and I really had to slow down. I plan on sharing a chat video with you just to kind of share some things of what's going on, where I'm at, some things I found up following WW versus counting calories, just a whole bunch of things that I've been wanting to share and I honestly, I just haven't had time to sit down and do it. So I'm hoping maybe later this week I could try to fit some time in, uh, but between my full-time job, my homework, I'm always doing some kind of school, uh, and then also my channel and just taking care of myself. So I've been a little bit quieter on here, definitely a lot quieter on social media. I really haven't posted too much on there, but I will get back to it. Just kind of slowing things down for a little bit till I get things caught up. So like I said, just taking you along, sharing the things I'm eating today, also my Thrive Market. And if you're new, I do share the WW personal points for me, and also I share the calories as well. So I've already had two glasses of water today and I already drank my coffee. So this is what I've been putting in my coffee, unsweetened coconut milk. So for this, it's 45 calories per cup and I just count this as one point for my coffee. So I just use this and then I've been using the Lakanto sweetener in my coffee and that's it. And then I usually have the equivalent of about two cups. I just put it in my Yeti. So before I get started showing my day, I do want to mention that I get 19 points a day on WW. These are my zero point foods. I get avocados, eggs, fish and shellfish, fruits, potatoes and sweet potatoes, chicken and turkey breast, and non-starchy vegetables. And I do end up using my weeklies during the week, especially on days when I don't eat a lot of my zero point foods. All right, breakfast today. This is two eggs, two ounces of ground chicken. I love those mixed together. After I did my eggs, I just wilted down some spinach and spring mix in a pan. So I have about a cup of that. And then I have about a half an avocado and then also my half a slice of sourdough bread that I just stuck in the toaster for a little bit. So for me, it's zero points for the eggs, two points for the chicken, zero for the lettuce, zero for the avocado and then for the half a slice of bread is two points this is the really big bakery sourdough so two points for that so this whole thing for me is four points if you're counting calories it's 60 for the bread probably about 50 for the avocado uh maybe 10 for the lettuce so we're up to like 120 and then 80 for the chicken so 200 and then 140 for the eggs so that's 340 calories. And also I forgot to mention I sprinkled both of those with some everything bagel seasoning. So I'm gonna follow breakfast up with a little bit of fruit in here. I have some kiwi and I have a few blueberry left. So I'm just gonna do maybe like a quarter cup of blueberry and some kiwi. I'll save the rest of that for later. So for me, this is zero points and probably I'd say maybe 75 calories for both of them. All right, it's time for lunch. And for lunch, I'm actually having leftover from dinner last night. For dinner, we had chicken breast and rice and green beans. Just a very simple one. So the rice looks like yellow rice, but it's actually white rice. I make it in the Instant Pot and I use my homemade chicken broth. And I also put some turmeric in there. So that's what gives it that yellow color. So this is four ounces of boneless, skinless chicken breast. It's about a full cup of rice and then my green beans. So Green beans and chicken for me are zero, and then the rice is six points. And then I'll also earn back a point from the vegetables. And then if you're counting calories, it's 330 calories. Now, one other thing, I'm also adding five points and 120 calories for olive oil because I'm using a tablespoon of olive oil that I've drizzled in here. So when I cook with olive oil, I don't tend to count it, but if I use it, in like a salad or in an actual meal like this, then I do count it. So six points and then five points for the olive oil. So that's 11 points earned back one. So it nets out at 10 and then four calories, 330 plus the 120. So it ends up being 450 with the olive oil. 
I'm gonna have a little snack, so I'm gonna have this Good Culture Low Fat Cottage Cheese. Y'all know I love this cottage cheese. For this kind, you can have this whole cup for two points or 120 calories. So this is actually the little individual size cup. When you buy the like the bigger one, the serving size on that one is a half a cup for I think 80 calories. So this one has more than half a cup in there. So I decided to add some greens to my cottage cheese. So instead of just having the cottage cheese, I'm gonna have a cup of greens. So I have here just some spring mix and spinach. It's like a half and half mix. About a cup of that, so two points for the cottage cheese, and then a cup of the greens. I'll earn back a point, so this actually nets out at one point. So I wanted to share with you my Thrive Market haul. I've actually been wanting to try Thrive Market for a while now and I just haven't done it. There is a fee, it's like an annual, you get pay an annual membership, but honestly it pays for itself though because you're, you're really getting a bargain on organic products. So I decided to give them a try and I wanted to share with you the things that I got. So you can just go on there and pick things yourself, but they do send you like emails and texts of when there's certain items that are on sale, especially if it's something that you've bought in the past. So if you're new to it, I will put a link down below that you can get 40% off your first order. So I'm gonna just share with you some of the things I got. So here I got some extra virgin olive oil, and then some red wine vinegar, some apple cider vinegar. Here I got a couple cans of tuna, and they had albacore also, which I do like to have albacore sometimes, but I got tuna this time. And then a couple bags of garbanzo beans, a couple bags of black beans, and then a couple things of taco seasoning. I like to make my own taco and burrito seasoning, but these are just nice to have if I need something last minute or maybe I don't have um, enough of my seasoning left to make something. And then some Cholula hot sauce, also got some coconut amino sauce. This is kind of what you would use in place of soy sauce. And then back here, I got rice broccoli. I haven't actually tried this yet. So I'm not a fan of rice cauliflower, but I definitely wanted to try the riced broccoli. So I got three bags of that. And then I also, this was actually free. So they send some things for you free. I actually used a little bit of this in a smoothie one morning. So this is raw coconut butter. And then this was also free. This was like, they send you like different gifts if you hit a certain threshold. This is mayo with avocado oil. And then a couple things of white jasmine rice and also some whole peeled tomatoes. And also salsa. <laughs> I almost forgot about this. It was in my fridge. So just some regular mild salsa. So that's my little Thrive Market haul. So again, if you're interested in trying them, I'll put a link down below so you can get 40% off your first order. Okay, for dinner tonight, it's going to be a sheet pan dinner. So on this tray, I have some baby potatoes. I also have some Brussels sprouts some red pepper, some red onion. I have a yellow squash that I had in my fridge that I needed to use up. I threw that on there, and I believe that's all. And then I have some garlic powder that I just sprinkled over it, and some everything bagel seasoning, a little bit of Himalayan sea salt. And then I've also got a pretty good amount of olive oil on there. I put, probably put maybe one to two tablespoons on there. I'm going to roast these in the oven. I have my oven preheating to 400 degrees. So I'll probably cook these for maybe 15 minutes before I add the meat onto it. This turkey kielbasa is kind that I get from Aldi. So it's already fully cooked. So that's not going to take very long. And then here I have some shrimp and scallops that I've just got marinating in a mixture of olive oil, bay seasoning, a little bit of lemon juice and some salt and pepper. That's all, just a small amount of salt and pepper. And I just let that sit and kind of marinate for a little bit. So I'm gonna put this in the oven for about 15 minutes and then I'm gonna throw the shrimp and scallops on the top. And then for the last probably five minutes, I'll throw the turkey kielbasa on there. So this entire dinner, the way I made it, for me, for WW points, my shrimp and scallops are zero. And then everything on this tray is zero except the olive oil. So then all I have to count is my turkey kielbasa. I'm probably going to have maybe about two ounces. I think it's three points for two ounces and then whatever I count for the olive oil. So I'll probably count my dinner as five points. 
and I'm gonna earn back two from the vegetables. So this is gonna net out at a three-point dinner, be right around 400 calories. And then it's a good amount of protein, has about 30 grams of protein per serving. So this is what it looks like served up on the plate. And let me tell you, this was so good. If you like shrimp and scallops, you need to try this. It is just the flavors of everything went so good together. My husband was a huge fan of this one. He absolutely loved this. So definitely make this one again. So if you remember that big amount that I had on the tray, obviously we didn't eat all of it. So I ended up having leftovers for lunch the next day. I had some broccoli in my fridge that I had from the night before that I wanted to use up. So I've got, I just put the broccoli in the bottom of my meal prep containers and then I just topped it with the rest of what was left. It wasn't really much shrimp or scallops left because my husband came and kind of picked out of that pan, but this was absolutely delicious. So for tonight, I am having ice cream. <laughs> yes, ice cream. So here's my, when I say I follow the 80-20 rule, this is the 20. So I never deprive myself of pretty much anything. If I want a little bit of something, I just have it and then I count the points for it. It usually always fits in with my extra weekly points. So this is some Moose Tracks ice cream for half a cup. This is nine points and do not be afraid to use your weeklies. So nine points for this, and then the calories, I think for two thirds of a cup was 240 calories. So I'm gonna guess right around 210 calories. So I'm gonna enjoy this ice cream. And honestly, what I'll do is I will just eat it slow. I have a small spoon there that I eat it with and just kind of listen to my body. And when my body says, okay, you're good, then that's all I'll have. I'll give the rest to my husband. And for the record, my husband did not get any of it. I enjoyed every bit of it. So here's what I ended up with for the day. I ended up using 32 out of 19 points. I earned back six, five for the veggies and then one for my water. So I ended up using seven of my weeklies, which is perfectly fine. I do use my weeklies pretty much all the time. As you can see for calories, it came out to 1,650 calories. And just because I usually get asked, I am five foot tall. So as always, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new, I hope you'll subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. It's a